Alright, I think we're back. My internet uh, basically died on me here. Uh, give me a second here. I gotta refresh this. Ugh. I don't know what the hell happened. It's like my whole internet went down. Uh, internet. Reload, come on. Reload my chat here. Sorry, I was there again. Everything's going wrong, right? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what happens. Like, my internet just, just drops. I, I'm not sure if maybe my ISP was doing a, an update or something like that. Everything just, like, died. <laughs> nah, man. You're loud. Yeah, it looks like it's back up now. Like, I don't know. Uh, it, just, it just dropped, like, completely all of a sudden. So, yeah, it must have been my ISP doing, like, a, some sort of... Some sort of uh, playing around, some update or something. That sucks. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like we're back. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> uh, All right, so let's uh, continue on. Luckily, I paused the timer. I don't know how much time I lost there, but OBS kind of warned me. He's like, Internet or connection drops. And nothing's connected. It's like, what? Well, the problem, too, is my... So as soon as it went down, I, I went. I reached for my phone, and my phone's battery was dead. I was like, are you kidding me? That they're like charging my phone, like turn on, you know, my mobile data. And by the time I, I got that done, uh, the internet reconnected. So, uh. all right. So let's uh, keep going. Let's uh, continue on. I don't problem ever, say, man. Yeah, it's uh, not fun when that happens, but. Hey, you know, she wasn't worth it, right? So, let's keep going. Yes, yeah, so we lost, uh, we lost Warren before. Poor Warren, man. There's no chance. I, I need to put him in a better group. This group is not really well de well designed for him. Uh, let's, uh, if we edit the group here. Put him in the Like one dude in the front, one dude in the back with Warren. That need to revive him. I only have one reviving thing. I should have picked up more. Ugh. You know what? Let's let's just... no, because yeah, if we don't revive him, we're gonna have to no. Yeah, let's just let's let's let's, let's uh, let that group go. They'll go back to uh, to home. We can uh, summon what's her name. Once he uh, goes back, and we'll go from there. Yeah, that sucks, man. Uh, life sucks sometimes. Alright. We hopefully this is the guy that ran away and got all his dudes back, isn't it? Couldn't reach in time. <laughs> there you go. These guys on best. Healer, the leader should still be attacking us. Legend City, tell my Yang. <laughs> nice. 
need to restock our card then. I've seen the Black Man Gurries. I've never seen such a dreadful warrior before. He's completely covered in black armor. Reminds me of the legend of ogres. Just thinking of him makes me shudder. And they're finally, like, talking about ogres? <laughs> I think we'd go around here and like get these guys over here. I think, I think the enemy's running out of uh, steam though, because oh, he's this, going back here. Really? What the hell? I don't think there's any more guys kind of coming my way. And now go over where they're ever three man. She ain't worth she ain't worth your life, that's for that's for sure, man, so might hurt, but definitely bad things in life. Yeah, the world was pretty good. The world um Keeps us from, from getting hit with magic attacks, which is pretty strong against certain enemies. The world is definitely a good one to have. Alright, so this guy here, he, he seems to run away quickly, so we need to we need to kind of stop him from running back after this. So let's uh, get Chris into position here. Oh, he's going, he's going for this one, isn't he? Run back, run back. That's close. <laughs> I guess we're pushing him away from the uh, from the boss now. Might be able to. Uh... Yeah, I don't drink either. <laughs> Definitely not a drinker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's one of those one of those hobbies you definitely don't want to get into. You, you, you don't have to. Definitely an addiction. But yeah, let's just let's just calm down. Life sucks, and we'll leave it at that. So, kill these octopi. He's going to run back, so let's just stop him. Make sure he doesn't run back. Don't want to fight this guy again. Oh, this is great game, Texas. It's, it's one of those games that you can really spend a lot of time in and kind of... I mean, you, you can play this game multiple times, so... Right now I'm trying to get like a kind of a high reputation, um, which seems to be kind of hard to do, but there's 13 different endings, I, I don't know, so this, this is a blind run, so I don't know, come on, got my dragon, I don't know what kind of ending I'm going to get, but it's definitely going to be an uh, interesting ride anyways.
City Religion, City Gelling is Gelsen. Aw, oh, not the devil again, come on. But de devil's not as bad as death. It's still always your reputation, though. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the uh, Ogre Battle series has quite a few games, right? I mean, you have the Ogre Battle, you have the Tactics Ogre, Ogre Battle 64. There's definitely uh, quite a few games in the series. I'm assuming they're, well, they're probably playing the prequels at one point, because this is considered Episode 5, even though it's actually the first game that came out. I guess they're going to pull a Star Wars type thing. <laughs> Play with Episode 5 and work their way down. I don't know if they, any of the other games are actually prequels to it, but they're definitely... Uh, definitely some sequels to this, so. Yeah, well, the, most of the cards, the, they don't give you, I mean, yeah, you lose some reputation, that kind of thing, but it's not like a terrible amount of reputation, like one point, two points, but it still kind of sucks that you can lose stats by getting uh, a bad card. I mean, you still probably want to get the cards anyways, because, uh, I mean, you can get some good stats. There's more good cards than there are you know, bad cards, so... Yeah, the... There's a... The Lover's card is the best one for reputation, gives you two points of reputation. Uh, the Death card is the worst one, gives you minus two points of reputation. I don't know if there's any cards that give you two plus one points. There's a lot of tarot cards. <laughs> They'll do weird things, and... Gary's want to rule Avalon and control all the Roshian temples on the land. We're still trying to find... I think there's a bunch of hidden areas, too, that we're going to have to visit. Ugh, there's so many... This area is so freaking huge. Like we need to find this one here. There's definitely a town here. Because we still have to find the prince. That's the problem. And yeah, we're making a lot of money. But nothing really to spend it on. Alright, so it looks like they're at, like looks like the enemy's out of steam. They're not sending any more dudes after us, so. Fight it out. <laughs> Isn't that dead octopus? That'd be scary. Imagine that. Undead octopus. Isn't an octopus mostly made of, like, cartilage, though? <laughs> How, what would an undead octopus look like? It would just be air? Be a jellyfish? Yeah. Yeah, the, the... Well, the manual suggests, like, obviously to raise your alignment. You want to have a higher alignment than the uh, the town you're liberating. That's why I, I keep sending uh, I keep sending uh, Huey. First of all, he's fast. He's he's the flying creature. Uh, he's got a, or a flying uh, creature with him, and he's got you know 100 alignment right now. So he he's got really good alignment. Problem is I have like a werewolf with him. So I I don't know how the alignment works for the group. Like, does it take the average alignment for the group, or does it take the lowest alignment, or the highest alignment, or the leader's alignment? It's it's kind of a it doesn't really say anything in the manual, so I don't know how the alignment system works in terms of you know like what level your alignment is your, your group's alignment. If it's the leader's alignment, then it's really high. If it's the average alignment, then you know I, I probably got about an average of seventy, sixty, maybe around sixty-five, sixty-five, seventy or so. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta kill everything to the death. <laughs> so, it looks like this mermaid is, like, last one we have to worry about. Alright, Jack Hard. Oh, come on! Seriously? There's, there's the worst card I was talking about. <laughs> Green death card. Reputation meter two points down. Oh. Bullshit game.
On an Avalon is the legend that all the dead souls of the warriors gathered to be on them. Warriors protect the island from the evil forces of the Empire. Yeah, it's so like minus three reputation. Alright, so we haven't found the prince yet, so obviously he's in a hidden town. Uh, I'm betting there's one here, because I mean, there's a road that goes right here, so it's a very likely spot. Uh, let's send him here. I don't think I sent him to here. Let's check out anywhere that might have like hidden. I'm surprised I found this temple here. I was lucky I found that, because I wouldn't even thought of checking for a. Uh, like a town in the middle of this area here. Um, there's probably something over here. Definitely something over here. Ugh, so many places to send Huey. So Huey's definitely my best kind of best guy to find these things. Um, where else? I haven't found any hidden treasure either yet. Bound to be some hidden treasure. Let's end him here. And let's send Chris over here. Alright, adversary. Gotta tone it out a bit, Nat. Might have to time you out for a bit there. The drink is getting a little too strong in ya. Should kill this final group of enemies. Just have to get it toned down a bit. I know things look grim, but yeah. yeah. Nail of Earth. And it's really hard opening the menu sometimes. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's really nice. We're enchanted by the spirit of the earth. Plus 16 physical. I want to give that to you. <laughs> let's give it to Warren. Maybe I'll survive a few hits. Uh, who needs this? Wait, didn't we lose? Uh, we lost one of our. We lost a dragon, didn't we? Is there a temple here? Okay, it's okay. We'll revive this. Revive this dragon. I can give that to the dragon. Dragons will be able to resist more stuff. The prince has got to be somewhere. I mean, the prince is supposed to be here, on this island. We haven't found him at all. We did find... wait. What was, what was her name? Aisha? No, that wasn't the prince. Sorry, man.
Let's see my note here. Prince Tristan, yeah. Isle of Avalon. So Prince Tristan should be somewhere around here. Buried treasure? Oh, I wasn't even looking for buried treasure there. Ninja Guard. That's kind of crappy. <laughs> I don't think that's even worth putting on anybody. Forty hundred gone. Up. No prodding. Alright guys, alright, alright. Oh, yeah, right, right. did we... Did we visit? Yeah, we did visit here. Mm -hmm. Where the hell could this place be? Check here. Doing this at night, I can't see anything. I checked here, there's nothing here. Alright, I can see during the day. Um, we didn't find Prince Tristran anywhere, so I'm worried that we're missing something here. I want to beat the boss until we find Tristan. It's supposed to be in the Isle of Avalon. I'm not sure if the Isle of Avalon is this entire, if there's more to the, to the Isle other than this one map. Or if this map is, is I mean, it's the only one that's listed as the Isle of Avalon in the manual. Uh, Island Avalon is, like guess, the Sea in Diaspola. So, it's got to be in here somewhere. <clears throat> so, where could they hide a damn town in here? Uh, Already found this temple here. Um, here maybe. I think I checked that spot. He's heading there. Wait till he finishes that. place. Pretend that happens, I'm always thinking something happened. There you go. That's always a good idea, Clank. Nope, no town there. <sighs> Where is this prince hiding? It's gotta be in a town. He's not just hiding somewhere. We've already been to all the towns. All the towns that are... Unless he's actually in the uh, in this town here, but that we have to revisit this place afterwards, maybe. So I can't see any other places they can hide a town. Uh, possibly here. I, I just can't see them putting a town next to another town. Spawned to that town there. Oh, that sucks. I want to fight the boss until I know for sure. <laughs> I checked everywhere, but I've checked everywhere. It's logical. Yeah, it's got to be it. If it's not one of those places, then it's a.
Need a do. So we have two people who are interested in attacking the Black Knight. We got we got Aisha and we got Ash. Are these guys related? Ash and Aisha. <laughs> so, let's send Aisha first. And Tristan, I don't know. I, I'm assuming we probably have to come back here after the fight because I, I have checked everywhere that could possibly have a town. Let's uh, make a save here. Yeah, he's finished looking around, so... The problem with Aisha's group right now is she has, n she has no way of killing the boss. The boss in the back row, she's just not going to be able to kill it. All her guys are melee, and they just respawn instantly as soon as you kill them. So, c killing the boss with her would be a uh, hard thing to do. Let's try it anyways. Let's see what kind of, uh, what kind of response she gets when she talks to the boss. I'm Aisha, daughter of Monk Forest. Came to avenge my mother and everyone else in this island. You, a girl like you, cannot defeat me. Fine, I'll give you the chance. See for yourself how weak your gods are. I wonder if you, you must get a different uh, thing if you if you send Ash in because Ash was is uh, is betrayed by him. Thank you, the sub adversary. Man. Thank you, sir. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are... Try and get her ass's hand across here. Well, there's a couple secret towns I found. I mean, I found the one with Aisha, with Aisha on her. But I'm assuming I have to find the one with the prince. Uh, there's the mention of the prince being on this island. On the Isle of Avalon, but I didn't find a prince anywhere, so... So there must be another hidden hidden island somewhere. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. Holy crap! Oh yeah, thank you, sir. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Okay, uh, send Ashen. Maybe might have a chance. Oh, sucks. Before he. Generates back to full here. You have a different counter. So you're the rebellion who defeated Debonair. Destroy that city easily. You're pretty strong. I don't stop you here. Things will become hectic. However, nobody can defeat me. I'm an immortal. They regenerate so fast. We, we have to send like everybody in at the same time almost. God, that was so much damage. It's from as soon as we kill this this front dragon guy, he's gonna get revived instantly. This is horrible. Did we do any damage to this guy? I'm just getting your ass handed to us here. Oh, well, there's the answer. You, you can definitely uh, <laughs> level up if you if you lose the battle. Ah, uh, this is this is bad.
Got to keep sending these guys in, otherwise he's just going to regenerate. Well, he's 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 going to revive that guy he had like instantly. Like he, uh, this is going to be a fun fight. Um, <laughs> let's send her in. Seymour is like the the one who has the best chance of killing this dude. Because of being a princess. Oh, this is going to suck. Send everybody in. Everybody fight. We're probably going to lose reputation like crazy since we're going to lose so many fights here, but... Chapter 6, awesome. You're supposed to heal after you get hit, not before. We have a bunch of casters here, so this is a good time to use uh, Leader. At least we can weaken him a bit. That evil ring that he uses is insane. This is the... Uh, yeah, this fight is horrible. This is one of the hardest fights we've had so far. Boss fights, anyways. It's nasty. Come on. The worst when they, they just miss constantly. What the hell? At least we weakened him a bit. Alright, so we encountered the enemy like right away, so he shouldn't have regenerated too much health. Yeah, exactly. You have you have to like not kill them. That's the problem in this in, in, with these fights. Because if, if you kill them, they, they come back at full health. If you don't kill them, then you know they come back. Uh, okay, so this one we might have a chance of killing them here, because so we've got some good healers, got some good attackers. So we're gonna, if we, if we get close, I'm gonna use a card to finish him off. Alright, we should have this. Boom! Ugh. Yeah, there is, but y you have to, you can only, you can only just target the leader with a, uh, with range character, because the melee characters will have to defeat the enemy with the stuff in front of the uh, in front of the, the leader, because the leader's usually in the back row and he's got something in front of him. So you have to kill that thing in front of him. Problem is with this, as soon as you kill that dragon, uh, you can start hitting on the leader, but then you know you lose the fight and then the dragon respawns instantly at full health, so it makes it a lot more pain in the ass. I can't believe it, I lost. I'm the strongest. I lost. It can't be. Wait. I'll send you to hell. Hey. Still no sign of the damn prince, though. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I missed a city, because I've looked everywhere for a city. For, like, another city. So, hopefully we can still get the prince. Like, hopefully the prince shows up in in the, uh, like, the aftermath. Like, we can revisit this place and they'll show up. Because, yeah... That was a pain. Alright, let's save here. Let's revisit that. And once I revisit that and see if the prince is there or whatever, I think I'm gonna be calling it a night. <laughs> Streaming for uh <laughs> I lost track of it because the damn stream kind of uh cutting out there, but stream for what eight hours? It's like yeah, geez, it's almost four thirty in the morning. <laughs> Long day. Let's go revisit. Hopefully we can find the prince, because... Goddamn. <clears throat> yep. 
Yes, this is one of those games where it's going to be long. Like this, this fight here, there's 25 maps total in this game. Uh, the, fir the first map I don't even count because the first map was just like a tutorial that barely took any time. But uh, we just finished map number 8. So there's, there's 7 maps that we finished if you don't count the first uh, map. There's 25 maps in total. So extrapolate that a bit and we're looking at 50 plus hours minimum for this game. It's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long game. <laughs> Definitely gonna be a long game. Well, strategy RPGs especially. Strategy RPGs aren't known as as short games. <laughs> They're definitely not known as short games. That's right. Is it everything? No, I don't have a town. Uh, all, all I know is that the prince was supposed to show up here. Or, well, when, when the NPCs mentioned the Prince of Tristan, or Prince Tristan was on the Isle of Avalon, which is where we are. Um, so I'm assuming, like, I, I visited all the cities. And I'm assuming... I was assuming he'd, he'd be somewhere in here, but I didn't find him anywhere. The only hidden cities I found... Yeah, I think the only hidden city I found was the, the one right in the middle, next to the volcano. But maybe if I visit these ones, they'll mention something. So. There is, yeah, there's, there's a lot of hidden towns. Like, the last map had, like, three hidden towns. It had this one. I found a bunch of um, of hidden treasure. I only found one hidden town. Thanks to you, I'm in Avalon. It's finally achieved peace. So this town here in the middle was a hidden one. Well, it's a temple. Two of the rebels who casted one of the four devils away from Zenobia. I've heard all about you. Please continue your good work for the sake of the continent. So let's revisit these things. Maybe they'll mention. Oh yeah, there's a hidden town over here. If that's the case and the prince isn't there, I can always re uh, reload and try to find it before killing the boss. A few days ago, an old magician came to visit the lake monk. He was very upset when I told him she no longer existed. The magician's name? I think it was Borgenine. Um, I haven't seen any mention of Borgenine yet, so... Four hours, yeah, that's pretty good. It's actually a lot shorter than I expected. I guess it depends on, because the way the way I'm doing the, most of the fights, I'm kind of um, I, I'm kind of waiting for the enemies to come to me. I try to wait till like they basically kill all their groups of enemies and then go for the boss. But you could probably definitely rush down the boss before that that case, like send a a uh, strong group uh, to kill the boss, like try to to flank the the enemy. Like in this case here, a great way would be to go the way we're going right now. Go around and flank him from the back. Yeah, so. So I found, I found one hidden depth also. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so there's no hidden towns then. You see, I have no shine. It's finally cheap piece. But we most of these games you have to revisit, or most of these maps you have to revisit after beating it, and they'll give you some more information, or... Thanks to you, I don't have lines playing chickens. But yeah. If I didn't find it, I wouldn't have found it, but... Like, I, I checked everywhere that could even possibly squeeze a map. But a favor to ask you, will you hear me out? Please stop Prince Tristan, okay. Heard about you. See, now this guy's mentioned Prince Tristan again, so... Heard about you and the rebels, and he left for the Empire with this... Leader. There we go. So now we know where Prince, Prince Tristan went. So he was here, and now he left to the Empire. Where I will kill him. We must stop him. Please, stop Prince Tristan. So we gotta find the Prince so he's not here anymore. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm I'm one of those people that tries to take their time as much as possible, try to find like every little secret treasure. 
I think the the average I saw on uh, like on, on how long to beat in game packs was about 60 hours, which I find probably about right at the rate I'm going. So it might speed up later, but right now I'm trying to keep I'm trying to go with like a high reputation uh, ending. But there's definitely different ways of playing this for sure. Some of these places, like every town has something different to say, and some of these places the, the towns repeat the same thing over and over. It's one of those annoying places that just repeats everything. Alright, last couple towns. Uh, did I visit this one? Yeah, I must have. Well, the, pro the problem with the uh, the problem with the the cards or the reputation is this: there's there's no numerical number for reputation, so I don't even know what the reputation skill is. Like we just have a bar. Like is it a hundred points? Is it you know a thousand? So is two reputation even a lot? So that that's the thing. There's there's no numerical representation for reputation. I knew my, my reputation was like. 600 out of 1,000, and two reputation points would be like, whatever, I, I could care less. Uh, but if my reputation was 100 points, then, you know, it's a little more significant. So... Sometimes you, you lose reputation, and then you see your bar go down significantly, so at that point, you know, it's like, oh, you just did something really bad. Uh, but when, you, when I get those cards, I usually don't see my reputation bar moving. So... All these towns are saying this whole east thing is coming in. Yeah. And so I've always used forest to rule the world. Not bloodthirsty like the Empire. Impressing Dora was never like this. And Gary's is surrounded by evil spirits, just like the legend says. I don't know why the Highlands have gone this far to establish Zetigenia. Rashidi must be the key to everything. Rashidi is probably the key. Somehow, I don't know. There are two routes to enter the Empire. One is the north through the Castilian Sea. The other is west through the Horai region. Either route you take, you'll still need to go through Fort Element. Alright, I guess that's it for this place. Alright. Come on. Except not. So, I don't know. Our reputation seems to be a little higher than it was when we started. But... Not significantly. <laughs> Rotation seems to be really hard to get up. Alright, so let's save. <laughs> let's hope not, your liver wouldn't be able to take it. Alright, so... So I'm going to pause the timer there, and we're going to be calling it there for tonight. It's been a long day. Definitely getting tired. So it kind of sucked that our uh, <laughs> connection kind of dropped. So uh, thanks for the sub again, set, uh, adversary, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, things thing kind of looks up. Don't drink too much there, you know, you gotta... <laughs> oh man. It sucks when it happens, so hopefully things, things look up, so... Uh, yeah, tomorrow I should be streaming, uh, unless, uh, yeah, tomorrow, I don't think I have any plans, uh, depends when things come up, sometimes I have to babysit the nephew, so, but I think tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm good, so, I'll be able to stream uh, probably a little bit earlier tomorrow, compared to tonight, so I'll have a little more time to stream, and, uh, we'll go from there, so, in the meantime, thanks everybody for, uh, for watching, hope you enjoyed some more of, uh, Ogre's Battle, we've got, let's see here, <laughs> when do we have left? Assuming I do every map, which I probably will, there's a lot of branching paths, but, you know, I, I, I'm completionist in these kind of games. We've got uh, 15, 16 if I'm counting right, 
16 or 17. Got way too many anyways. That's the go, so we'll go from there. So, have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow for the continuation of Burger Battle. Take care, everyone.